नेक्स्ट विल स्टडी अबाउट द वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर विच इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू ओके सो एज आई टोल्ड यू इन एवरी मोटर विल हैव टू थिंग्स वन इज द स्टेटर एंड अनदर थिंग इज द रोटर राइट स्टेटर आई टोल्ड यू दैट इज द स्टेशनरी पार्ट इन द मोटर एंड रोटर आई टोल्ड that is the rotating part the motor correct so in the three phase supply means we are giving three phase three wires connection as you have already studied three wires means three connection one is of red color another is of yellow color another is of blue color so r y p sequence so one of the wire moves from start from the zero terminal then changes its cycle up from 180 degree and completes its cycle to 360 degree correct now the next thing y cycle it's not fixed but we can change it one cycle starts from the positive terminal then complete its cycle accordingly and another wire starts from the negative terminal and comes Completed cycle accordingly. So once is R, one is Y, and another one is right. Clear. So this is a kind of three phase supply we are giving the machine. So in machine generally used for that outer part is the stator in which we are giving three phase supply of R Y B, and inner part is of rotor which we are providing supply correct so r y b current is flowing connection then y connection and then b connection right so in the stator we are giving stating stator supply rotor we don't provide any supply right in the stator part we are providing three phase supply correct so as you know that whenever a current carrying wire is there then obviously electrical con energy converted into the magnetic energy right whenever we are having a wire and in that wire current is flowing then their electrical energy is converted into the magnetic energy so as you can see that we are having three wires and in all the three wires current is flowing right so will it produce magnetic energy yes or no hmm will it produce magnetic field yes na so it produces magnetic field so magnetic field is generated here and some of the magnetic field is generated here okay because as you can see at any instant of time at any instant of time no current is same here you can see y is more and r is negative right so that's why it seems like it, the magnetic field is rotating technically what we called it as rotating magnetic field and rotating magnetic field is you know by the term r m f okay it is denoted by the term r m f rotating magnetic field clear so in this case magnetic is rotating it's not actually rotating but it seems like that magnetic field is rotating because we are giving supply different supply to the different wire that different kind of magnetic to the different magnitude it will flow over through the stator okay basically what i am saying that magnetic is rotating still rotor is stationary no energy induced in the rotor right till now we are providing energy to the stator only correct now after that what we need uh, remember i told you the principle of generator that what happens in generator there is a magnetic field and in between there is a coil right so in the generator as you know mechanical energy is converted into the electrical energy 
mechanical energy means we are rotating the coil and by the rotation of this coil it will cut the magnetic field lines right coil rotate and it will cut the magnetic field lines so from that magnetic field changes means flux will change and if flux will change then in that case emf will induce okay according to the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction that is e equal to minus n pi by dt correct if there is a change flux with respect to time then in that case em is induced basically if field lines cut then in that case flux will cut and if flux will cut then it will change so, so in that case emf is induced in the coil now the current starts flowing in the coil correct this is how generator works now what they have done they change the thing what they have changed north and south will as it is coil is as it is now instead of rotating the coil they are rotating the magnet can we rotate the magnet but at this coil is stationary okay we are rotating the magnetic field but the coil is stationary but in this case coil is rotating but magnetic field is stationary right so in this condition coil is stationary that means magnetic lines will it will cut or not right now cut now because coil is stationary and magnetic rating so in this case magnetic field lines will be cut and if field lines will be cut then in that case also flux will cut and if flux will cut then flux will change right in that case flux will change and if flux changes then in that case emf is induced so emf is induced in the again coil right current starts flowing understood so this concept they have used the three phase induction motor i'm again now as you can see that magnetic field in the stator is rotating right magnetic field in the stator is rotating and your coil is stationary similar with this concept right magnetic field is rotating and coil is stationary so in this case if coil is stationary then emf is in the coil emf is induced the coil means current starts flowing correct then in that case current starts flowing now up to here we are giving which energy the motor electrical energy right by three phase supply and we are getting also which energy electrical energy right in the coil but what is the function of generator that, uh, sorry um, what is the function of motor that it converts electrical energy to the mechanical energy right so as you can see that both the coils like in if current is produced in the coil then in also produce magnetic field yes or no if current is flowing in the coil then it also produces magnetic so we are having two magnetic field one magnetic field is of rotor and another magnetic field of stator right stator magnetic field technically known as rmf rmf is rotating magnetic field and coil magnetic field so will these two magnetic field interact with each other yes or no will this two uh, these two magnetic field will interact with each other? then who starts rotating rotor or stator according to you if two magnetic field attract interact with each other either they will attract with each other or they will fail with each other right and there is some air gap between rotor and stator so ultimately what happens rotor starts rotating because stator is stationary can't move right so now see you are giving which energy electrical energy but you are getting which energy mechanical energy 
that rotor starts rotating. So this is the basic principle of three phase in 